I joke that I'm an artist too, but my palette is a 50 acre piece of land. Yeah. So, you know, what are we going to make look nicer? What are we going to do that's going to be fun for folks and fun for us? And fun for us. Yeah. 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 God, we love this place. We're lucky to live here. Yeah. Sometimes we get caught up in it's so much work, and um, but then when you're when guests arrive and they're just in awe of how mm. beautiful and artistic this place is, and to see this place through guests' eyes, yeah. it's just it gives me so much joy and and it's all just worth it. Yeah, it, we see the beauty of it through their eyes. Yeah. Through our own eyes, oftentimes we see, oh, I got to get that done. Right. Oh, that's not finished yet. Yeah. Or, it's a real gift to see it through <laughs> guest eyes. That's right.
because we're guides, we uh, always tend to leave people some extra help, like this is the list that we suggest people uh, use as a packing list. And then on the section towards the bottom, there is a piece on lightning safety. So that, you know, if it's summertime and you're up on Azure Mountain or any other mountain in the area and it starts to get threatening lightning, um, you want to get off that mountain as quick as you can, but things happen, so if you can't, what do you do? Even in the deep winter, uh, people come here to camp. Uh, the record here is 27 below zero. Um, and what they do is they, they sleep in their tent with their heavy winter sleeping bags and then use the lean-to as a wind shelter because the wind tends to come from that direction. So it makes a nice wind shelter. They have a good campfire and cook here and that kind of thing. It makes it a little bit more livable. We have a network of roads all over the property, but um, and so this is not the way people traditionally arrive in their regular vehicles to get here, but it depends on what I'm doing. And I might be somewhere else, so I come over through those roads, but now it's time to load some firewood and make sure that the guests are ready to enjoy themselves when they get here, because they can have a fire right away. We supply a little bit of firewood to start, about 10 bucks worth. And, uh, and then people can always get more here or they can get it out of the woods if it's down on the ground already. There's a lot of crap in the... Uh, you want me to hang on to those while you're... Sure. <laughs> Who knew? It just looks so simple. <laughs> oh my God, and there's a little... Look through this crack here. What, what is in there? See how like there's gaps in it? So whatever it is... There's a something. gasket there. Something is uh, missing in parts of it.
you know, on the front side, nobody's rented a thing yet at all. Mm -hmm. Nobody's come. You know, no, they're not here. Okay. They're making yep, a decision okay. to come here, potentially. Yeah, Does it so matter? Is that, but people, when they come, people find that really interesting. So you're right. As a draw. Is it a draw? To come, probably not. But once they get here, people think that that's kind of cool to get to meet the, not just the owners, but they get to meet the builders. Yeah. That's, people find that interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, let's, let's, let's try some of that. Let's just play with it for a few minutes. Maybe we'll yeah, okay. find our way to value with that. Okay. Great. Cool. Good. that aren't there anymore. Mom and Dad, just before Mom drove down the driveway and sobbed, what did he do? Folks come to visit and they wonder who was the contractor we hired to do this stuff. and. Um, that's just not what we could have ever afforded, and um, we just did it ourselves. We had helpers at various times working with us, but like the treehouse we built 20, 20 years ago, 20 years, yeah. pre Treehouse Masters, yeah. and yep. the kids. The deal was, if uh, if the kids weren't working on it, we weren't working Nothing on it. Nothing was happening. So it took yep. a little longer than we thought. Yeah, well, three months. I mean, we got that done actually in three months. Yeah. You know, now it's winterized. We didn't do that with the kids. You and I did that this last spring. The lean-to, though, that lean-to took you and I five years just kind of plinking around that. Remember the winters we were covering the covering it with tarps? Yeah. And I was yeah. having to go out there and get the tarp, you know, the snow off the tarps without ruining them. And it's, some help from a few friends yeah, that yeah, yeah. would help out. For years, we had to do everything by hand. We didn't even have a, a tractor. And when, when we were starting to do a big addition, uh, this building that we're in right now, and the office building, um, and the house addition, uh, we needed to cut lumber. So I leased a mill from a buddy and spent a few years cutting and stickering up lumber uh, to build this, the rest of the build. And um, that tractor, oh my god how we got by without I know. that tractor. I uh, protested the tractor for a, a long time. And then after the first week of having it, it was like, did why did we not do this shovels. sooner? So we it's put so a backhoe on it. Yeah. We can log with it. Yeah. We get a lot done with that tractor. And so that made it possible to the lean-to because we had to turn the backhoe into a crane to lift those giant logs right. towards the top yeah. so that we could do that. So it's just been fun. And that allows the backhoe now. We've got purpose-built single-track mountain biking trails on here. We're all mountain bikers in the family. And so just to be able to run out real quick and do, I think it's about two-mile loop um, to do that real quick and we got berms and all that so it's a good quick cardio do that a couple times and uh you know it's bob, a nice bob workout. does not sit idly he's gotta build something yeah. and and he does work with my hands yeah he wants to work with his yeah. hands and yeah, yeah. It, it's it's yeah. really paid off it's beautiful and uh, the property a lot of the creativity people that i work with they they're they work in the arts in some way or another and so I joke that I'm an artist too, but my palette is a 50 acre piece of land. Yeah. So, you know, what are we gonna make look nicer? What are we gonna do that's gonna be fun for folks and fun for us? And fun for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. God, we love this place. We're lucky to live here. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you.
So where we are is not on waterfront, and we certainly thought a lot in our life about wouldn't it be great to live on a lake. But we landed on this 50 acres that we're going to stay here because we can go and do everything from this spot and not have to pay the really high taxes on waterfront. I can, I can load my boat on my car and be literally in my boat on a body of water in 10 minutes. Yeah. And that's yeah. with loading the equipment. Yeah. So yeah. We're, we're really close to um, lots of lakes, ponds, streams. Um, the closest mountain is 10 minutes away. So you're paddling all the time. You know, Sheila sometimes will just in the evening, she says, I'm going for a paddle. And she'll just take off for a while. And so it's just like, there's just so much here. I mean, we still look at waterfront every once in a while and fantasize about it, but. But the thing about waterfront is that you're often sharing your space with a lot of other people and yeah. it's busier. We like that this is so quiet and private and yeah. you don't have to see or hear anybody with, uh, unless yeah. you want to. Yeah, yeah. So we'll probably never leave. <laughs> Where are they right. going to put your ashes? I'm <laughs> probably by the eldest pine. I want to be by the eldest pine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mine will have to be on a tractor trail somewhere. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, I yeah. might want to be down by the bog. Though. Yep. Oh, well, you're going to split your ashes in so many yeah, different directions. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to be on top of a mountain, too. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> It has been so much fun to share our property. This place is, it's a 40 year labor of love that we've done. And it wasn't what it is now, back when we initially got it. Yeah. Well, initially it was, it was all, you know, we built it for us, for our family. Yeah. We wanted to be the cool place so yeah. that when the kids were growing up, their friends would want to yeah. come here and hang out so we could yeah. and that worked. be part of the conversations and know yeah. what was going on. And, yeah. and, um, and then we blinked our eyes and they're gone. They're gone. So, so then it becomes time to share so it with other people. Now it's time to share it with yeah. other people and yeah. it's been a lot of fun. Not maybe that many, 15, and then there's a few through here as well. Mm -hmm. And they're doing well. Um, they'll take off. Now we've got that berm out by the road that kind of protects the view shed a little bit. 
Then I planted black spruce on top of that, along with some stuff I dug up, some balsam and some uh, red spruce, hoping that we'll get even more soundproofing on the property and uh, more visual shielding um, when all the leaves are off the trees for the folks in the treehouse. We'll see how that goes. You might not be alive when those trees are really mature. All the reason to plant them now.